Like, should I even put this on the internet? This is so insane. Hi friends and welcome to today's video. I'm so happy that you're here. If you caught last week's video, then you'll know what we're about to do. If you didn't, I would recommend checking that out because today's video will make a bit more sense uh, and give you a bit more backstory of what's going on. Um, I'll link it up here, uh, whichever side it's on. Um, but yeah, we're gonna just keep plugging away at this uh, bathroom cabinet and I'm hoping to get it finished. Uh, if you noticed a difference in the, I think it's called the timbre of my voice, I am getting over a bit of a sickness. Uh, so <laughs> if I'm coughing, I'll edit it out so that uh, you don't have to hear all my snot um, and coughing and the sniffing. But anyways, um, I'm very excited about this project and I'm very happy that you're here. So let's get into this together. The biggest point that I want to drive home is that you don't need, yes I have, you know, saws and drills and, um, you know, this kind of basic equipment for carpentry, um, but I'm also super <laughs> unorganized and there's tools that I don't have and one of those things is, um, I don't even know what the name is, but it's uh, basically it, you drill into your wood and it drills in a way that you're pre-drilling for like a screw that uh, will sink into the wood and you won't see the top of the screw. It'll sink down into the wood. I don't have that drill bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do it in a way that's you know, I'm gonna use this drill bit right here. And I've put a tape around here so that it um, kind of tells me when to stop through the wood. Uh, and that's gonna create my pocket. I'm gonna use drywall screws. <laughs> um, like, anyways, basically the point that I'm trying to say is you don't need all this special stuff. You just need to kind of Look around what you have. Maybe you don't have all this stuff, but what do you have? And you know, you can you can pull it off. I know that you can. <laughs> so let's do let's do this um, this little tricksy. <laughs> important thing in putting this together um, is to make sure that these grooves um, line up because um, otherwise it'll be hard to insert the MDF. Um, the other thing is that these boards, can you see me? <laughs> The other thing is that these boards are bowed. The wood that I used was um, bowed. So I'm kind of trying to make do with the bend in them. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> so I am just trying to make the best of it and I'm gonna just try it. You just really need to make sure that the grooves are all lined up. If nothing else is lined up, make sure the grooves are lined up so that the MDF, when we slide it in, it'll just slide in. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna screw these together, at least the first three parts, and then slide in the MDF, and then go from there. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to put the carpenter's glue onto the spot that's going to receive the other board. So let's do that.
probably too much, but it's okay. We'll just deal with it later. Preemptively take that out. See, there's it. The wood is not great quality. You can see lots of ridges and stuff like that. But we'll we'll make do. What's important is that this at least lines up right here. got my Christmassy mug <laughs> and that's all you need to know. Oh, this is Earl Grey tea by the way. The superior tea. <laughs> using a damp uh, rag to get the excess of uh, sawdust off. Okay. 
I'll be honest, when I was testing these stains, nothing was really, I guess, not to be cheesy, speaking to me. And I just couldn't decide what I wanted on this shelf. And it largely was due to the fact that I didn't know what I wanted the overall bathroom to end up looking like. So I decided to actually keep it just a natural wood for now. And then once I knew what I wanted, I would just either paint it on the wall or I would take it down and stain or paint it. Hot tip, don't install by yourself. But this is going to be here when we come back for the bathroom transformation which i'm hoping is going to be in the new year because i'm going to shift to christmas stuff um i wanted to get this done for you guys i wanted to show you how it turned out there's still like I don't